Okay. Okay. So we're doing uh, another personality reaction. Yeah, right? one of those personalities. Yeah, we're talking about uh, Rick Ginest, I think is how you say his name. Yep. Zombie Boy. The Zombie Boy. The Zombie Boy. Uh, I truly think probably the most modified person who's ever made it. Like, who's ever really broken through. And he was early to break through, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember seeing this guy originally back in... No, I'm I'm into this stuff. So yes. I was, like, looking at weirdos online years ago, right? Yeah. Before I was a proper, like, big-time weirdo yeah. myself. Yeah, until you were I, a certified weirdo. <laughs> I had a, aspirations to be a certified freak. Yeah, you did. Long before I, I made it. <laughs> so this guy was showing up in magazines and stuff and yeah. as early as, like, 2006 to 2008. Yeah, this was my first foray into, like, a heavily modified person as well. I feel like it's, like, uh, not, not that it's not super heavy mod modded, but it's, like... It's user friendly in a way. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah, it's approachable. But for like, some odd reason. People were thinking of this guy as skeleton boy. Yeah. And he made it clear that he didn't like that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> he was zombie boy. How dare you? Yeah. I should say that uh Rick Ganest is deceased. Yeah. I think he died in two thousand eighteen. Uh yep. Uh, Somewhere he's th gotta be thirty three. A lot of people thought it was a suicide. There's some still some debate on that, but a mm. coroner ruled it wasn't. Mm. Um there was all these questions about his mental health and stuff like that what it seems to me if he was a normal looking dude that wouldn't have been the case i know you know what i mean it's unfortunate that like that snap judgment just happens you know yeah i, mean? I know it's like oh well of course he was depressed or something yeah he has to you have know? been in order to be so modified yeah it's like, well uh, no obviously yeah um yeah Sad. this guy really really got super like i think people started really hearing about him a lot when he did that uh like that makeup removal thing yeah that like was impressive was, like, the cover-up yeah <laughs> And then people always ask me, to, like, why I haven't done that yet. I've had a few, uh, like, the there's a channel called, like, Hooked on the Look. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Barcroft Industries is the company that makes all that crap, uh, where they do, like, little reality YouTube snippets of people putting on makeup and covering their tattoos and all that crap. Oh, yeah. They've asked to come and film with me a few times, and it's always a big, like, fuck around, and nothing ends up happening, because... I feel like I'm like being in where we live. It's very hard to work. It's a little out of the place. Yeah. Out of the way kind of uh, thing. He is from Quebec though. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a Canadian too. I didn't know that. So yeah, just a little interesting factoid. Yeah. Uh, actually quite a few heavily modified people are from Canada. I don't really know what that's about, but. It's the cold. <laughs> you don't see it much from America. Uh, no. Like but I mean, like, the, I think that is something to do with the cold part. To be honest with you, you think? well, I mean, like, how does the cold correlate to it? We have a frosty morning, so that might be. Uh, we do have a frosty morning. Maybe I just resent the cold, and therefore that's why I'm saying it. I don't know. I just think it like it puts us into more of those like like we deal with uh, a level of discomfort every year that's mm. pretty high. Um, so our tolerance for discomfort may be higher. You so know, what I mean, it push may push people to like further become their zombie search. Boy. Well, no, I mean, honestly, it's one of those like. I don't know. I, I it's just. A I, I agree with you. So I do. I understand where you're coming from. Because it's like it could be a very unconscious thing. Yeah, you know what right? I mean. It's like a toughness that happens, and like this is an expression of toughness. Yeah. In my opinion, like it, 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 you have to go through a lot of shit to get to this place. Oh, guaranteed. This guy had a, a brain tumor that he survived. I guess. Oh wow. When that happened, it was a lot of do I want to live? Even hmm. like it was like, and he pulled through, and there was nothing wrong with it, but. Um, I can imagine, like, if I were to have a brain tumor tomorrow, I would go through a lot, like, mentally. I would be thinking about that pretty heavily yeah. for a long, long time. Like, whether I was supposed to make it or all those kinds of existential questions would mm. be pushed. But, obviously, I haven't had a brain tumor, so I, I can't say for sure. Nope. It seems like it would rock you a little. Well, I would only assume. <laughs> That's, like, you know, pretty heavy, you know? So, uh, this dude had two world records. The world record for having the most human bones tattooed on him and the most insects tattooed on him. He hmm. doesn't have that record anymore. Someone, like, I think it was, like, right after he passed away, someone got more insect tattoos than him. But I was thinking, like, how many ridiculous records are there? Oh, so many. How do I not? Like, I should be in the world record book for, like, how many 50, 60 little things. <laughs> World record holder, most armpit tattoo sessions. World yeah. record holder, most this, most that. Like, we're just making up records. Yes. 
Like someone was asking me if I have the record for most candy canes in my face. Do I mean probably? <laughs> it's like what kind of a record is that? The world record. It's just something to be broken. Those kinds of like the, I think the Guinness Book of World Records needs to go away. Well, like, I, mean, I think we've jumped the shark on that. It's confusing. I'll, I'll, it's like a when when books were like your main source of things, and you'd like go to a library and you go like, oh man, what's in the world today? <laughs> Like, that type of mentality of, like, oh, I don't get to see the world very often. So mm. having a Guinness Book of World Records kind of gives you, like, a little show, like, snapshot of, you know, the uh, outliers of society. Mm -hmm. But we see the outliers of society every day. Like, we, and we can be really niche about it. Yeah. So it's one of those, like, the, the yeah, Guinness the Book is it. super underwhelming comparatively. And it's usually behind the times mm -hmm. considerably. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, uh couple little things to note here uh, he was in a, a Lady Gaga music video and a couple of other things yep a couple of other videos 47 uh, Ronan acting oh yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't see any of that you, we gotta we yeah. gotta watch 47 Ronan like yeah. I, I haven't made it through the whole movie to be honest with you like I've tried watching it all and no it, it hurts me <laughs> I think it it's a shame that he passed away because I feel like he would have done a lot more. Yeah, oh, and definitely. There are some people at the school of thought, and there's actually, I should say, there's a lot of them, and I get them. I get these people quite often that do not want this stuff to become popular. Yeah, I know. And I fucking hate that. I know, I do too. It's disgusting. If you're one of those people, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. If you're watching this and you're one of those people, you can fuck off. Yeah. This shit, the, the, the more in the zeitgeist it is, the easier it is for us to do our own thing. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, all of that. This guy, not indirectly, and in, in some extent, has bust down walls for me, too. Yeah, of course. Right? Like, even though we're we're not that far off in age. Yeah. Like he, he got to where he was going earlier than me, and since he was out there doing his thing, it makes it a little easier for me. Oh, definitely. Same thing, yeah. I do it for so many other people now. Right, having the extremes out there in the public eye like that, doing things on in a big level or on a big level, it makes it easier for anyone wanting to do that. Hmm. Right, it doesn't make it harder. It's not taking your space. No, God, no. Right, it's making it easier. It's pushing acceptance of it. Well, I mean, right? showing it's normal. Like, really, there's a difference between self acceptance and societal acceptance. And societal acceptance is the thing that we need to be like. Um, pushing for yeah. more than anything because like yeah you can be outside of society if you choose to that's totally fine but to be segregated because of who you are like that's stuff that we're actively working against oh yeah and, like anybody that's trying to keep the reins in on that that's like that's really you know we're trying to think further than that nowadays in my opinion yeah so his aesthetic i think is pretty cool it's not my aesthetic it's too much negative space for me and far too busy that being said, I like the concept. I like anyone who has like a like a bodysuit concept. Yep. Like I really do. I, I I find it bold and it comes together in a way, you know? Where it's like if you just did this with no idea at all, it looks much worse. Oh yeah, for sure. Um now that being said, I think this guy's a real icon and will be remembered like as one of the first that broke through, whether yep. anyone likes that or not. Um they actually made a statue of this guy. It's like, what, what is the museum called? It's called the, I think it's called the self-conscious gene. Hmm. It's a statue of him. It's a very, I think it's a fairly large statue. And yeah. uh, I think it's the, is it the London Museum of Science or something? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to look it up after because I might just be spouting out a little bit. But <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Like, I feel like if you can achieve something like that with with your life you've done enough yeah oh yeah like That's really you become eternal world. to some extent right yeah. Yeah. so i don't know i feel like uh i feel like he would have been valuable anyway but death makes everyone's story a little grander yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah well it's, it's immense you know thing. what i mean that's the it, you, you give that uh, exclamation point at the end of it for sure. Yeah, I I can only hope that I can be so lucky when I die one day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I hear you. Definitely been impactful. Mm.